seeing a place, being there geographically, shapes how I learn, and I wanted to be able to offer that to my students. After spending almost a year reading about these events, uh, and then the chance to stand here and to think about the scale of it. You're right here in the thick of things. What you studied at home, you're actually seeing and doing and working with when you touch down in Europe. You can study about it and think about it, but there's nothing like walking in it. You know, what it really looks like in the hedgerows and uh, what it looks like on the, on the beaches of Normandy. And to be able to describe that um, in a personal way to my students. For years, we've spent our lives dedicated to these things, to studying the past, and this gives us a chance to actually go and live it. This experience has changed me by um, making me think more about the individual stories of wartime and not just the big picture. It's one thing to learn about how many soldiers died in what beach or what campaign, but it's another thing to come to know one of those individuals. There's a family, there's heartache, there's emotions behind every single one of those numbers. Making this war personal is the only way we make it real for kids. Being able to use the, the men buried in the ABMC cemeteries from our hometowns gives us an incredible tool for teaching. To get students to think critically and, and conduct research, and that really helps the students think more deeply about the topic. It really opens your eyes and refreshes, you know, first of all, your love of history because you're doing real research. Finding documents, spending time looking at the little details, to find family members, to look in places that are not obvious for information. And second of all, you're, you're, you're doing meaningful research. And I feel that as American citizens, it's our responsibility to kind of tell those stories. These are the voices of World War II that we don't often hear. These are the voices that were quieted uh, way too early. This is the first person I know to ever die in a war. And I really feel like I, I know him and I know his story. You make a connection and you get very possessive with your individual and, um, and then it becomes a point where you feel like you don't want to let that person down. More than anything, I want you to know that you made a difference. You mattered. You are not forgotten. You will never be forgotten. It has been my absolute honor to get to know you. You're going to be creating something meaningful, not for just for your classroom or, or other teachers to use, but also for the families of these, of, of these men and women who sacrificed their lives. I think many of these families must have feared that their loved ones would be forgotten. And I think we have a unique opportunity to bring these amazing places to life and to help them understand that these aren't just cemeteries or graveyards, that these are places that are alive, that these are places of history, and they're places to learn from.